able to see anything at all, you who? Not really. That's strange. The light clearly pointed us towards this direction. Uh, I need to rest. My feet are in such unbearable pain. Huh? Uh -huh. Ah! That's Libby! It's great to see you, Libby. I never thought we'd meet you here. What are you talking uh -huh. about? We didn't expect to see you so soon, Libby. We never got to say goodbye to you back in Italy. In Italy? What's that? Have you forgotten us? You were the one who saved our lives in Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen any of you before. It looks like you have a bad case of amnesia. He really has forgotten about us. I really have no idea of what you're talking about. You know what? I think you may have met my cousin in Italy. Libby is your cousin? That's correct, my cousin. We lynxes have relatives living in all parts of the world. And because of this, we're easily mistaken for each other. I was told by my mother not too long ago that I have a cousin who bears a striking resemblance to me. Oh, that's why. But anyway, it's always a pleasure to be able to behold beautiful women and welcome them with the warmth of Spain. Buenas <laughs> tardes. We appreciate the welcome. Would you happen to know of a place where we can all stay for the evening? What are you talking about? This is no shelter. This place that we're in is a famous and historical site. Each stone and each tree you can find in this place are all priceless relics. But there has to be a place somewhere where we can rest and stay for the rest of the night, right? I'm sorry, but there isn't. Aww. It's getting dark. We have to do something. <sighs> I seem to be left with no other choice here. Everyone come with me. This site is well known for its wall paintings as well as my laboratory. Many of the works you will see inside have not been finished at the moment, so please don't touch anything. Hey, what is that thing? It looks unusual, don't you think? Uh -huh. Stop right there! Put it down! Uh -huh. This thing right here, if you must know, is an important historic piece. Can you tell us what its purpose was? Do you really want to know? <gasps> this is a toilet seat. So that is a toilet seat? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this place is really giving me the creeps. Huh? Look, guys! Someone drew a picture on the walls of the cave! Wow! Oh, so it is yeah. true! Oh my! That picture seems way too familiar! Huh? Why have some parts of that drawing been erased? What I'll do is draw a few lines, connect it here. Uh, what on earth do you think you're there. doing to that drawing? There! This drawing looks exactly like Utopia. Look what you've done. You've destroyed an ancient historical wall drawing. I didn't destroy the drawing. I only filled in the blanks. I only added a couple of details here and there, and now the drawing looks like Utopia. Utopia? So what you're trying to tell me now is that drawing really exists? Yes, it does. That's the place where we all came from. You can't be serious about your claim. I've spent sleepless days and nights studying that drawing. That place is said to be the most peaceful and the most beautiful place that ever existed. However, I can't seem to understand the purpose of that tree in the middle. That is the tree of life! The very core of Utopia, all beauty and existence come from it. That's also the reason why we're here. So it does exist. I can't believe it. The mystery is slowly being unraveled before my eyes. Please tell me more about this place. You have to tell me everything you know. I have to find out. The tree of life is what's most important to all of us because it's the source of life of everything that's on the planet. 
The green seeds hanging from mm -hmm. the tree will often be heard making beautiful melodies mm -hmm. when the winds blow towards their direction. But according to the drawing on the wall, all these seeds are lost and are nowhere to be found. Uh. It's our fault. We're the reason why the seeds were scattered. We were looking after the tree on what we call the Utopia Seed Day, or at least we tried to. The tree is really fragile, you see. It gets thirsty very quickly and dries up at a faster rate. On the day that we were supposed to take care of it, something uh, horrible happened. Can you tell me what happened? We couldn't control ourselves and we sneezed. All of the seeds were blown away and scattered as a result of that. That's the reason why we're here. We're doing our best to collect all of the scattered seeds before time runs out on us. Oh, all of this is happening because of us. Well, it's not entirely your fault. Huh? As time went by, the Tree of Life has grown considerably weak, but it's surviving thanks to your efforts. Really? Yes, that's right. And according to the findings of my research about your world, when Utopia is in trouble, the Earth can also be in the same state. And did you know that once upon a time, the whole world was covered in nothing but ice? Utopia disappeared because the Earth was slowly becoming warm. We haven't found all the green seeds yet. How are we supposed to save Utopia without them? Wait a minute. Did you just mention green seeds? <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's going to take more than seeds to save the tree. Are you trying to tell us something? According to the drawing, there are some parts of the Tree of Life that are not meant for the green seeds. I believe that you will need something else. Something that would connect Earth to Utopia. I didn't know about all of that until now. This doesn't sound good at all. <sighs> it still doesn't make sense, though. I still need to gather more data. Hey, guys, it's already getting late. I think it would be a good idea for us to get some rest. Great, Great idea. idea. Guys, listen, I've stumbled upon a discovery. The drawing bears more secrets about Utopia than we discussed last night. What exactly are you talking about? Keep it simple and easy to understand. The empty spots in the drawings are representations of the fact that Utopia has lost most of its energy. Really? Yes. The reason why the Tree of Life lost its green seeds is because Utopia is slowly getting weaker, not because you sneezed. Oh, now I get it! So Utopia's in trouble? What you will need to find is something that can restore the tree and Utopia as well. What is it? What is it? Tell me, what is it? It's got to be something that can restore the tree of life to its full strength, and I think I know what it is. That's right. We must find out what exactly the missing parts in the drawings are. Oh! So it ends here. The march said that it can only be found here. But there's practically nothing around here. What can we do? Maybe you have other suggestions? Oh, oh, oh. oh no! What's happening this time? Hey guys, are you both okay? That's strange. Why is there a hole here? The cave floor collapsed on us. I didn't expect that at all. Hey, guys, can you help us get back up there? <sighs> this means more work for us. Wait a minute, I'll look for a rope. <laughs> okay, this should work. <laughs> Use the rope to get back up. <laughs> <laughs> Left. There's got to be a way around it, Lemmy. Hmm. This isn't looking good at all. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Be careful. You might fall deeper. All right. Uh, Rudy, there are writings on your side of the wall. Writings where? Huh? I wonder what these writings could possibly mean. Oh. Huh? Uh. Huh? Grab onto my tail, quick, both of you! Hold on! There's something written on the wall over there. 
after the passing of the three full moons. Hey, look, more drawings there on your side. It's a picture of an aurora. Uh -huh. The first one is the blue aurora. This, this only, only means one thing. thing. The, the blue, blue aurora, aurora appears, appears after, after the passing, passing of three, three full moons. moons. We, we have, have to find all the green seeds, seeds by then. then. Come on, I need you both to grab my tail now. Okay. <laughs> That was a lot of work. What matters is that everyone's safe and sound. Libby and I were able to discover something down there. You have to be able to locate all the green seeds before the passing of the three full moons and before the coming of the blue aurora as well. Really? Uh huh. You? How many green seeds do we have with us already? At the moment, we only have 11 seeds in the pouch. We have to double our efforts if you want to find all of them before the aurora. I hope that your quest will prove successful. The future of both our worlds is in your hands. Mm, I know. Huh? 